Good morning, G3. How are you today? Today we're going to talk about lesson number three. You make a quick revision about it and solve the weekend sheet. Number three. Lesson three is talked about help me survive, like the lesson number two, but today we talk about the plants. Junior three, the plants also have inherited traits, help it to survive. Our first plant that we have today is called acacia tree. Acacia tree. Look at this. This is the shape of the acacia tree. The acacia tree, when there are roots here at the bottom of the plant, so the roots, the roots of the acacia tree are very long. So the acacia tree have very long roots, very long roots that help it to reach the deep underground water. Reach the deep underground water. After that, when we look to the branches, we will find thorns. Thorns, what? To help the animal, to stop, uh, to stop the animal from eating the leaves of the plant. The plant number two is called cactus. Cactus, all of you know the cactus that's found in the desert. So the cactus have thorns also. These thorns help it to stop the animal from eating it. The, the third plant that called water lily or lotus. In water lily plant, they are found above the water or on the water. Let's talk about the stem. The stem of the water lily is very long. It's very long and flexible. Okay, flexible, you can bend it in all direction. So the stem, stems of the water lily are long and flexible, long and flexible. Why? To fix the plant in the mud at the bottom of the water. To fix the plant in the mud. The mud mean like the soil of the plant or when we bring some sand and added water, it changes to mud. So the stem is very long and flexible. Why? To fix the plant in the mud. Number two, it has big round leaves. When we look to the leaves of the plant, there are big round leaves that float in the water, not sink in the water, no, above the water, on the water. Why? To absorb the sunlight, to take the sunlight, to take the light from the sun. Okay, yep, and the leaves are big round leaves that float on the water to absorb sunlight. Number three, when we look at the bottom of the plants here, there is waxy, waxy, like the wax, okay? This waxy doing what? Prevent the water to enter the, the plant or to keep the water out because the roots of the, this plant, it's, there, are, there is uh, under the water. So the roots take the water from under the surface of the water. So the, the waxy, keep the water out. The waxy, keep the water out. And also we will find here at the roots, at the bottom of the plant, there are thorns. This thorn is doing what? Yes, protect the plant from eating, uh, protect the plant from the fish that you want to eat it. Okay, so we took the stem. Stem is long and flexible to fix the plant in the mud. Leaves are big round leaves to absorb sunlight. At the top, there is waxy to keep the water out. At the bottom, there are thorns to, uh, to prevent the fish to eating, from eating the plant. Okay, let's uh, solve the exercise in the uh, worksheet. Open worksheet number three. We can cheat number three. We will choose from the box. Uh, choose the right answer. Um, the stem, the stem of water lily plants are, and the stems are, yes, long and flexible. So the stem are long and flexible to fix the plant in the mud. Number two, water lily has leaves which are, Yes, big round leaves with cone in the, at the top, waxy at the bottom thorns. 
so all the babies answer. Number three, the acacia tree has very long roots. Why? Yes, to reach the deep underground water. So choose reach the water. Number four, the underside of the leaves of the water lily has soreness. Why? Yes, soreness at the bottom of the plant lay. Why? Bravo. To protect it from the fish that you want to eat it. Number five, in water lily plant, the what of the leaves is waxy? The, the top or the bottom? Yes, the top. The top is waxy, but the bottom there are thorns. Okay, junior three. Okay. Number six, which has thorns help it not to be eaten by the animals? Yes. Bravo, Aliku. Cactus. Which are passed from parents to their baby? Yes, this is called inherited traits. They are characteristics or traits passed from parents to their baby. Inherited traits. Can you see? Okay. Turn the beach. Match. In this picture, we will match every animal with his parents. This is small. This is small chicks. Yes, with chicken. The small birds with his parents. They have the, the same inherited traits. Boy and girl, yes, with his mom and dad. Small kitties with her, yes, cats. Okay, now we will match every animal with his inherited traits. Okay, let's start with giraffe. Giraffe has what, yes, Tall neck helps it to reach the leaves of tall trees for feeding. Yes, the rabbits. Yes, rabbit has large ears to help it to hear and avoid any danger. Turtle has, yes, shell to protect it against the enemies. The hedgehog, yes, has a spine to protect it from the Enemies. Okay, junior three. All of you understand? Okay, super. Bye.